Hello and welcome to my video on different types of face paint and body paint. I will cover five different types of base ingredients which gives the paint its consistency. Share with you the different brands for professional face painters, stage and theater, film industry, Hollywood movie sets, and novelty Halloween and children's face paints along with a few accessories you will need to get started as a beginner or novelist face painter. I have set up a display of different types and brands of face paint, body paint, makeup, novelty face paint, kids face paint, face paint crayons, makeup pencils, water and alcohol face paint activators, applicators to apply your makeup such as sponges, brushes, and q-tips, and a paint or makeup palette tray to hold your colors and to mix your colors, latex wig, and liquid latex novelty items. I will talk about paraffin wax based paint, Glycerin base paint. Petroleum or petroleum jelly cream base paint and makeup. And talc powder base makeup. and alcohol and castor oil base makeup. Now, let's begin. Paraffin Wax Petroleum Base Paint. Paraffin Wax is a petroleum face paint which is solid at room temperature but starts to melt above 98.6 Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. Many professional face painters use paraffin wax base because it dries very quickly, has great sharp lines, you can make fine lines and detail work, it does not bleed causing fuzzy edges, and it smudges less than other paint. It has a very high waxy glossy finish yet at very high temperatures this base paint will become a little sticky. Paraffin wax base paint has a very hard clay consistency and to activate this paint you will take your water and spritz it a little bit and you would take this is great for detail you'll take your detail brush and just kind of go in there see how vivid the lines are and it dries pretty quickly compared to other paints Then I'll take a water brush. I'm just gonna paint here. So you can do a lot of base painting or some detail work. And to remove the paraffin wax base paint, what you want to do is add a little bit of soap and then take a rag and wash off. And it comes off easily. And to apply the paraffin wax based face paint, you would use sponges and brushes. Some of the professional brands on the market are Tag Body Art, and that's what this kit is. This is Tag Body Art here. There's Diamond FX Wax Base. There's Wolf. 
FX wax base and cryoline wax base. Glycerin based face paints. Glycerin is a base liquid source which comes from plants. Glycerin is a softer compressed face and body paint. Glycerin face and body paint is softer than paraffin wax face paint. It does not melt at higher temperatures, so it is more stable at higher heat. If you are to face paint outside in the summer heat, it will hold up, but yet in very extremely high temperatures, it will turn into a cream. It is kind of like a powder pigment and it is a cake form and this is Snazaroo face paint. Now glycerin paint based face paints are great for creating very soft and smooth blendable edges. It's great for like shading uh, areas on your face or doing a lot of gradient blending going from one color to another which is kind of an ombre effect. It's great for covering very large areas of the body, the entire arms, the, the trunk, the neck, and the head. And it will not crack or flake. Glycerin base is water activated. So you're going to spritzer the cake pigment and then take your brush of course this is great for doing a large base of the body I'm just going to take this brush and get it soft there and I'm going to paint see how it applies so it goes on real easy and with another color If I were to take, let's say, a pink, let's do some good contrast here. I'm going to open up the pink, and I'm going to spritzer the cake, and then I'm going to take my sponge this time, and get the sponge nice and pink there, and I'm going to blend. You can see how well it blends into the blue. It blends very easily there. And to remove the glycerin paint, what you want to do is add some soap. And take the rag and just wash off. Again, this paint is water activated, and to remove it, you use water. It comes off very easily. Snazaroo glycerin base paint comes in a container like this. The lid will come off, and then there is a little film which you pull off, and then the cake paint is under here. One of these containers can paint up to 120 to 150 faces. When I'm done with it, I wipe down the cake a little bit to clean it. I put the film back on, and then I always store it just like that. Some of the popular brands on the market are Snazaroo Face Paint, which this is Snazaroo, Mayron Glycerin Base, and Fab Glycerin Base and Paradise Glycerin Base Face Paint. Petrolatum Based Face Paints. Petrolatum Based or Petroleum Jelly Based Face Paints are also known as Grease Base Paints. These are used by professional clowns in theater, 
and in stage performances these paints are ready to use so there's no activation you do not need to use water or alcohol or castor oil when using these they are ready to use right out of the container or if you're using a foundation stick you can see how creamy it is goes on creamy if you can see that how creamy it goes on and it stays creamy throughout the day and it's very blendable but it will stay creamy and it will transfer onto your clothes so in order to stop that from transferring onto your clothes or when you're dancing you need to apply a translucent powder to set the cream based makeup now foundation that you use every day on a daily basis it comes in a container like this this is greasy it has a petroleum base petroleum jelly base again it will not set it will stay greasy all day long until you set it with a translucent powder so that will stop it from transferring onto your clothes or when you're moving around and it will extend the wear of the petroleum based face paint other face paints out there is this nice little children's set of face paints and this is petroleum based this is non-toxic and very safe for children and for pregnant women. This is about a $20 kit from Walmart. This is a grease petroleum based paint. So if I were to dip the brush in here and apply this onto the skin. Now it will stay greasy. It will not dry. So in order to stop this from transferring onto your clothes, you're going to need to apply a translucent setting powder to this paint. Now, Walmart during Halloween sells a lot of novelty Halloween cream makeups here. And they sell body paint. And I have had these for about three years. This was the first cream makeup I've ever bought. And it comes out creamy, just like that. And it blends pretty well. But again, it's creamy. It's petroleum base. It will stay greasy and wet. But it can blend very well with the blue if you need to blend it. Blends beautifully. But to stop it from transferring on your clothes or to getting on everything, you need to use a translucent setting powder. And again, you want to use sponges and paint brushes or Q-tips in little small areas when you are trying to do detail work and to blend this very well. Other kinds of grease or petroleum based makeup that women use every day is the makeup pencil. This is petroleum based and it's great for doing detail lines or if you are lining your lips or if you want to paint lines around your face or your eyes. These Makeup pencils are very great for doing that. Also, there are makeup crayons, which are they come out around Halloween, and it is a grease-based crayon, petroleum jelly, and it glides on very easily if you are making little lines, like you're making veins that go down into your arm of course but that's how easily that goes on now around Halloween 
They also have some little novelty items. I kind of call this this cream makeup that comes out around Halloween more of a novelty uh, face paint and novelty crayons. And again, this novelty cream Halloween makeup. And then during Halloween, they always have these bald head latex wigs, which are fun to put on your head. And they, they do cover very well with the face paints. And in order to adhere it around your face, you'll need some liquid latex. So those are some fun novelty items. Okay, so now I'm going to remove this with some soap. And then I'm going to wipe it off. See how easily it comes off. Okay, so it comes off very easily. Let's try the crayons. So if it doesn't come off very well, you may need to use a makeup remover. Okay. One of the most popular petroleum-based makeup for clowns and theater performances is called Ben Nye. Talc mineral base face paints. Talc face paints are solid compressed dried powder pigments. Talc base paints are applied to the skin using a sponge or an applicator. They can be applied directly to the skin or over a makeup primer. The makeup can be set with a spray sealer to resist sweat in water and extended wear. They can be used as eyeshadow and blush. Some talcs can be a bit creamier than others. So here we have, this is LA Colors Eyeshadow. And this is a very creamy talc powder. You can see it goes on easily with my finger or you can use an applicator to apply the talc to your skin. Also, everyday powder that you use, they come in a compact set like that. You can use a sponge that comes with it, and this you know goes over your skin. There. And you can also blend the two shades of talc. And also, there is a lighter shade. There's many shades of talc. This is by True Match Powder, but it is a creamy talc. Okay. In order to remove the talc, it's very easy. All you do, you add some soap. And you take your rag and you wash off. And it removes very easy and very quick. Some of the very popular brands out there, again, are LA, color eyeshadows. They make tons of different colors. There is Star Blend Talc Base, Lumineer Powder Talc Base, and Ben Nye Magic Cake Talc Base. Alcohol and castor oil based 
face paints. Alcohol and castor oil face paints are resistant to sweat, water, and friction. It will not come off unless removed with 99% isopropyl rubbing alcohol or castor oil. Now this here is a 50% isopropyl alcohol. This makeup will not come off with 50%, 70%. It will only come off with 99% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. It will not come off with water or soap. This paint is used in Hollywood on movie sets to create bruises, cuts, scrapes, and deep wounds that are resistant to water, movement, and friction. This paint is less opaque, so when it is applied to the skin, you will be able to see through the, the paint so it looks more natural and the bruises and the scrapes look more realistic and can stay on the skin for an extended period of time without coming off or cracking. Again, this alcohol-based or castor oil-based makeup can only be applied or activated with 99% isopropyl alcohol or castor oil. And it's used in Hollywood to make little bruises and cuts and wounds. So if you are thrown into the water or if you're caught in a rainstorm and if you have to sweat all day, it will not come off. Some of the very popular brands on the market are Dips, Endura, Pro Air and hybrids. These brands can come in a solid form or a liquid form so you can use airbrushing. If you're going to airbrush this alcohol based face paint onto your body, it is great for going over large amounts of the body. But if you're going to use it in a solid form, it's only good for detail work. It dries extremely quickly, so it does not blend very well at all with a brush or a sponge. If you want to blend it, you're going to need to use an airbrush. Face paint and makeup. Three, two, one, action! If you are thinking of giving your hand a try at face painting or as a beginner novelist and you are on a budget, I recommend purchasing five colors of glycerin base face paint. I purchased Snazaroo because it's only $8 per container on Amazon compared to Paradise or Mayron which costs $12 to $13 Per container. Snazaroo is much more affordable if you are on a budget. It works very well. Many professionals use it. I use it as a novelist and each container can cover up to 120 to 150 faces. So only eight dollars. It will go a long way. So I suggest if you're on a budget to purchase five colors. Red, blue and yellow, the three primary colors. And purchase white to tint the colors and black to shade the colors. With these three primary colors, you can mix them to get all these colors around the color wheel. And adding white or black, you can mix these colors to these colors to come up with darker and lighter shades of colors. To get started you will also need to purchase some wedge sponges to paint the face and a painter's palette tray is very handy for arranging colors and mixing colors together 
or to lay your wet sponges and your wet brushes on. Now you will need also a wide brush set and a detail brush set. Now this wide brush set was only $10 from Walmart and this detailed brush set was only $3. Now there are more expensive brush sets out there on the market, but if you are on a budget, $10 and the $3 will go a long way. I do hope you learned something about glycerin base face paint and paraffin wax base paint, talc powder base face paint and makeup, and alcohol and castor oil base face paint. And again, Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, check out my makeup tutorials, click that little bell icon to receive a notification of my future makeup tutorials, and again, as always, thanks for watching.